Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be introduced to JSON and kind of get a high level understanding of what it is. You're going to see some examples of JSON. And then in the following videos, we're going to start working with APIs and JSON. So first off, what is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a way to format data that uses key value pairs very similar to a JavaScript object. It looks just like a JavaScript object. Um, there, that's where the name came from, and it makes it super easy to access data programmatically. In other words, using a program it makes it very easy. Values in JSON can be strings, numbers, arrays, objects, booleans, or null. And let's look at an example. Here's Reddit's JSON API. So you'll notice that the URL up here is reddit.com slash r slash soccer dot JSON. If I leave that dot JSON off, it just takes me to the soccer subreddit. But if I add that dot JSON, it gives us the actual JSON. Now it's important to note that what, what Reddit servers are actually sending looks like this. This is the, the raw data that they are sending. I have a JSON um, parsing add-on added to Firefox that makes it nice and pretty and easier for me to access. That gives me the little drop downs and all kinds of stuff. And I highly, highly recommend that you get one of these. Um, it doesn't really matter which one. There's a ton of them out there for Firefox or Chrome or Safari or whatever browser you like to use. But it just makes working with JSON a lot easier. So inside of this um, JSON, we have two um, key values. We have kind equals listening and data equals an object. Inside of that object, we have a hash. We have a dist, which is 27. I don't know what that means. We have children, which is an array. We have after, which is a string. And we have before, which is null. So we have all these different data types. You can see that we have multiple. You can put in whatever kind of data that you want of those listed. String, number, array, object, boolean, or null. The children is an array. Inside of that array, we have a bunch of different objects. Looks like 26 different or 27 different objects. I'm sure that's where the dist number came from. So let's look at this first object. You have a kind, which is a string, and data, which is another object. That's uh, inside of that object. You have a bunch of key value pairs. It tells you what subreddit you're in. It tells you the self text. Tells you the author's user the username, whether it's say I personally have it saved or not. It says whether it's been gilded, which is Reddit speak for giving an award, basically. It says whether I have clicked on it or not. Um, it has the title, has all this different information about that particular post. And if I go and look at that without the JSON on it, the title is Daily Discussion 2020-0707. So Daily Discussion 2020-07. You can see here, this is a graphical representation of that. This is the raw data of that. Um, let's see, it has the name T3HMRU31, which I would guess is the, the auto, auto moderator, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see, it has the link flare CSS class is discussion. So you see that it's got that flare right there. We've got, let's see what else. This thread is for um, general, whatever. And if we look inside, This thread is for general football discussion, a place to ask quick, ask quick questions. And it ends with start time each day, start time each day. So we can tell that this right here, this self text, if we look at it and expand it, it just looks like the string that comes right there. That's all that is. So you can see that this, this is the raw data, which is useful for a computer. This is the prettified data, which is useful for people. So this JSON here, you can see that it's kind of just a nested list. It's just key value, key value, key value, key value, just like JavaScript objects. Now, why do we care? Why do we care about JSON? Well, the main reason is because the vast majority of APIs use JSON. They return JSON, so you need to be pretty good at parsing JSON if you're going to use any sort of APIs. They, um, most APIs used to use XML, but most have migrated. Let's look at JSON versus XML. So JSON, you might have an employee's key with the value being an array, and inside of that array are other objects, first name, last name. XML did the same thing, except you can see that it looks like HTML. So you've got employees, which is the key there, and then inside of that you might have one employee with a first name of John and a last name of Doe. 
So same thing here, first name John, last name Doe. You have another employee. So you can see that this is two different um, ways to format data. However, JSON is generally speaking a lot easier to work with. That's why most people or most applications have migrated away from XML to, to JSON. So just something to keep in mind. Every once in a while you might run into an API that uses XML, um, but the vast majority have migrated to JSON just because it's so much easier to work with for most people. We also care because you're going to be making API calls, which is basically sending requests to APIs. So making get requests or post or put or delete or whatever request to APIs. And usually those are going to return some JSON. So you need to get good at parsing JSON and reading it. One important thing to note, JSON is not a JavaScript object. So if you make a request to reddit.com slash r slash soccer dot JSON, you're going to get back some JSON, but you cannot just simply start treating that like a JavaScript object. You can't use like dot notation or anything like that or bracket notation to access the data. All this, all JSON is, is, is text. It is just text that's formatted to look like a JavaScript object. What this means is that when we get that JSON, we have to convert it to a, a true JavaScript object in order to use it like one. And there's a quick and simple way to do that, and we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show that to you and all kinds of stuff. It's just important that you understand that JSON is just a format of text. It's just a way to format text. And we, on the back end, as the programmer, have to convert that to a JavaScript object before we can use it like one. In this video, we got a high-level overview of what JSON is. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's a simply a way to format data using key value pairs very similar to JavaScript objects. The vast majority of APIs use JSON to send data, to return data in the format of JSON. And we also know that we have to convert JSON to a true JavaScript object before we can treat it like one. In the following videos, we're going to actually start getting our hands dirty with APIs and JSON. So I understand that the for some of you, this may still be confusing because it's kind of just theoretical right now. We haven't really used it, and most people do better and learn better when they actually start using things. So don't worry if this is still a little bit kind of confusing. We're going to get our hands dirty in the, in the next videos, and you're going to get a lot of practice making API calls that are going to return JSON, and you're going to use that JSON. So don't worry if this is still a little confusing. As always, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.